Sorry, that was one of the zombies from the film. Hey guys, I'm 22 Tiger Dude, and if you can notice by this baby right here, which I got for free when I arrived at my movie theater, I'm here to review World War Z. This film stars Brad Pitt. It's directed by Mark Forster, who is the director of Quantum of Solace, that James Bond film, which is mm, not very great, but you know, it's not a terrible film in my opinion. Coming into this film, I thought it looked okay. A lot of people were not looking for this. They thought it was going to be a very shitty film. And from what I've heard, it's based on the book, but it completely ignores the book. I've heard that there's a lot of reshoots. They're having a lot of trouble in terms of production. And that the budget is crazy high. And I actually have a cousin who was reading the World War Z book. And she had to work on it as her summer assignment. Based on what she told me, that this book had nothing to do with... The film, like they completely changed it from what I've heard. And so I've never read the book, obviously, but from what she told me, it sounds a lot different. World War Z, I thought it was good. I was surprised. This is a good and fun summer blockbuster treat. I think. Zombie fans out there are going to enjoy it. No, it's not rated R. No, you don't get blood and guts. And I'm glad for once it's not rated R because not everything has to be rated R in order, in order for it to be fun and fresh. You know, you could still have a fun time. And I had a fun time with this film. And I thought they used the PG-13 rating very well. And Mark Forster, I thought... He did a good job here. He did a better job directing this film. And Brad Pitt, I thought he was just fantastic. I loved his acting. The guy added a lot of charisma to his character. He plays the father that's protecting his family, and that's really nice. The zombie scenes, they were really cool, too. There was some nice piling up. The plane scene... Holy crap, that had me at the edge of my seat. I love the plane scene in this film. One of my favorite moments in this film. And I thought the family, they acted pretty good. I thought the pacing to this film was really good too. But oh my gosh, they really got to the whole apocalypse thing like very quickly. No, they started like immediately, I would say after the first five minutes. Because the first two minutes of this film was like opening credits. And then after the opening credits were over, you actually saw it in the trailer, actually. The film opened with the kids jumping on Brad Pitt and his wife's bed. Then the next shot was actually Brad Pitt making breakfast for them. And then the next shot was actually them in the car. And then, of course, that's when the whole apocalypse started. So literally, the trailer just showed you the beginning of this film. And I could have said, uh, they rushed it, that felt rushed. But honestly, that was paced well. I mean, yeah, they got to the whole apocalypse thing quick, but I, it didn't feel rushed. They didn't force the pacing just to get to that. I thought they did well done job doing that uh, quickly without feeling too rushed and too forced. Honestly, I gotta say this. My favorite part in this film in terms of the action, and I actually thought it was slightly better than the plane scene, which I really, really love. It was the scene, I'm not gonna spoil what happens, but I'm just gonna say it's suspenseful. It's quiet, like no music in the background is playing. It's intense, it's... It had you at the edge of your seat. You will get like a few jump scares during the finale too. And I really like that. The whole film I wish could have been like that though. But I know the whole point of it was to be a fun summer blockbuster film. And I think the film does a good job of trying to be like that. And that was a very smart move for them. I know the people who read the book are going to call bullshit on this and call it a crappy film. And, of course, if you're a fan of the book, then I can understand why people hate this film. But, really, I can understand more of the people that just had a fun time. And this film seems to be getting positive reviews. A lot of people who thought this film was going to be crap were actually surprised by it. I thought the action sequences were well filmed. I love 
the plane scene, and the finale. Those are the two action scenes I just love so much. Brad Pitt was good here. Uh, it was filmed well. If I have to do say my issues with World War Z though, I thought uh, there were certain moments I thought the film was a little bit slow. Like, yeah, you do get a good portion of action scenes, but like when the film slows down just for a while to get to the talking and, you know, the situation with the apocalypse, and I'm glad they did that because it's needed for the film, but there were like a couple of scenes where I'm like, okay, you could have cut that part out. This is like dragging a little bit too long. I did get a little bit tired in all honesty. And then the ending... I don't hate the ending, I kind of like it actually, just like once the film ended, I was sitting in my chair thinking, um, that's it? It's a satisfying film, I, I had fun with the action, I had fun with the story, the acting, and the ending, how it just ended was a little bit strange, I don't know, it felt a bit off when it ended in my opinion. World War Z is a fun time and you do get that whole summer blockbuster fun vibe. I am going to give World War Z a solid of three out of four stars. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, comment below and give me your opinion of the film, like and share this video. I will always have Taga power!